What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I can set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Bega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple crowd. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So, Ashley, you much of a partier in your younger days? Younger days? No, I, I mean, not, not that you're... crap. Relax. I'm just razzing you, Cortez. You know, back in school, I was too busy looking out for my sisters, so no. Not much of a partier. That's too bad, Williams. Stick with me. I'll make sure you have a good time. Oh, yeah? You got plans for me, Vega? 
Me? Nah, nah. But why not come sit a little closer? Not a bad place here. Decent views of the perimeter, multiple sniper perches. With some work, it's the kind of place Archangel could retire in. Also known as the Shepherd Vicarian Love Nest. You won't retire, Garrus. There will always be criminals who deserve bullets in their head. I mean, justice for their actions. Oh, so you're Archangel. James told me it was some sort of maid service on Omega. The Krogan are very strong. I believe it would take more than a hundred Pijaks to defeat one. Yeah. Sounds about right. No, he's like a brother. Trina, do people ever have a hard time understanding your accent? I wish they did. Something about an English accent says, I'm available, please hit on me, even when I'm not on Earth. If I had a credit for every amorous attempt I've had to reject over the centuries, I could purchase the Citadel. When I was an archaeology student, I found galactic dialects to be fascinating. All of the phonetic variants. Liara, this is a party. The only dialect I want to hear from you is... <laughs> Inebriated Asari. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling Reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive y'all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up... 
Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR-3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR-3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure, but some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kinda needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? I want to check on a few things before we change things up. Certainly, Commander. So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. <laughs> no, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> now the party's starting. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? In my cycle. Too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. 
Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. But you have no plans after Edie? You're someone more... human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always hogs that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days. Running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope she took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, here you are, drinking her alcohol through a straw. I'd call that progress. Something to look forward to, then. A hundred Vulture. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> so, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is... Shepard gets me and Brynn into the council chamber. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. Shepard? Okay, I admit. When I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. Hey, Shepard. So Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. Commander? How's it going?
So, do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy was to avoid social situations where naturalism would come under scrutiny. I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. Shepard. Hello again. Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Grunt, keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. I can stop bullets with my mind! You guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no, really. Okay? You should really upgrade the security. You again? I thought you were dead. You can't come in. Occupied! talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? 
I didn't get to read your psych profile. You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Should I find someone else to be? No! No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. How many bedrooms does this place have? Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarith. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last that day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say, consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying... Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. What was the name? Uh, yeah, no. I really need to avoid dairy. No. Don't worry, Shepard. They won't get in. Fake lip hair doesn't fool me, Solarian. No. Shepard doesn't have a half-brother named Sheppy the Bolus. No entry. You're selling cookies. Uh, well... No, I shouldn't let you in. Damn. Definitely no mimes allowed. There's no box. There never was. Nope. 
just keep walking, chump. You've just lost the fight for your right to party. Needing an immediate margarita intervention is not a real crisis. Get out of here. No. No. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me, too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and a cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. 
Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is Dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair's fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. What? You're crazy. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Lola, you have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Ugh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay. More drinks, snacks, help yourselves. Hey guys, talking shop? No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. It still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, 
you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me, shot for shot. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. This is a thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. All right, Jack. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find that... extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> All right. I can live with that. Was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics, and given your orientation and interest in synthetics, we can we can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No. No, 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 you can't even, no! Oh, okay, sure, send it my way. Oh. Just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that... Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also, my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. Oh, come on. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go, shot one. Ah! Oh. What the hell is that? It tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own batch, bro. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? That's all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let a few rounds off. I am sober enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez. <sighs> Give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. Yeah, I think we're done here. Yes, I will have another. You are a beautiful fortune. I'm pissed, but I'm not going to let it ruin the party. Or should I say, we are not. Right, Williams? Whoa, leave me out of this, hombre. More drinks, yes? 
Jacob. Shepard? No. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Wow. Kind of makes me tear up a little. Kind of makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. <laughs> We're not gonna hug or anything, are we? You wish. Shepard? Hey. Hello, Commander. When you were younger, you ever just throw people around for fun? People? You know, people, things, stuff. Pets, cars, whatever. Of course not. Oh, yeah. All the time. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Shepard. Shepard? Shepard? Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? There are still a few things I want to check on. Yes, Commander. <laughs> Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. <laughs> okay, I Jen. Yes, E.D. At social events like this. It is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased, one-legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time? Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected. And fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company dog legs. Till then, 
Watch and learn. Oh, hello, panties. Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. <sighs> Glad you could make it, Kasumi. Thanks. I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. Earlier than I was expecting. I kind of thought they'd have a camo pattern. You okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. What's that, Grant? Give me more, give me more. Fish of food shack. Shack, um, but every time I, uh, I found this blue rock for you, they are uh, <laughs> Could not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously? Goddamn kids and their music these days. 
I remember a girl who sang in this grubby little dive on Omega. Hmm, she had some lovely scars. Shepard, what's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. Hmm. Hmm. Just wait. Look. Oh, I'm licking. Believe me. <laughs> Look, I think you're beautiful and kick ass with an emphasis on the ass. <laughs> Thanks. That's sweet. I think you're kind of sweet. <laughs> Your lips are amazing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay. We're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. No. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. You're right, Joker. Nobody should pressure you into something you don't want to do. 
thank you. Edie, why don't you make Joker another drink? Something strong. But Jeff has had several drinks already. If he has more, his behavior may become... Oh. What? Nothing. That was the joke. Thank you, Shepard. Captain on deck! Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. Hey! That's my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, damn it. Almost kept it straight. What is she doing with her arms? <laughs> Good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. Uh, Shepard, is it, is it just the alcohol, or do you have vids running in your head of us mostly naked, completely alone, and shamelessly rolling all over a couch? Really? You have them all memorized? 67. Holmium. Very reactive, very magnetic. Turian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68. Erbium. Atomic weight, 167 and change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> In your dreams. What? I don't get it. I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! Would you care for a memento of this evening, Commander? My surveillance systems include state-of-the-art cameras. Hey, you two. What's up? Nothing. Really? No, Shepard, we're fine. <laughs> Lieutenant, did you just giggle? <laughs> I did not just giggle. I'm just, you know, I... <clears throat> Shepard, uh, can we help you with anything? Looks like you guys are having fun. Sorry to interrupt. I should probably go check on Glyph or something. See you later, Shepard. Do not mess around with those drinks. I believe you are strong enough to handle it, Jeff. Hey, that's my song! They're playing my song. Do you still want to dance? That is a wonderful idea. Nothing like a little gunfire to liven things up. I begin to understand why these celebrations exist. I approve. <laughs> It feels so good to let loose, doesn't it? Gotta work it out somehow. It does. I'm usually pretty crap at this. This and baking. I can't figure it out. I know what you mean. Ashley, tu con tantas curvas, ellos sin frenos. 
What was that? Say that again. Ashley, tú con tantas curvas y yo sin frenos. Tantas curvas y yo sin frenos. Shepard. Say it again. Tú con tantas curvas y yo sin frenos. Shepard. Are you having fun? Kind of. Excellent. Your dancing closely resembles Shepard's. A oh, low blow. Shepard. Hey, Edie, check this out. Oh, pancreas. Very impressive. Your central nervous system is well coordinated given your inebriation. Looks like you're not the only dancing machine at this party. Am I right? Jeff. Yes, Edie. That was a very bad joke. I love you too, Edie. Hey, Shepard. What's up, Commander? Everyone, come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy. sense of direction and you don't lack for places to get lost let's see if anyone else is up Shepard, hope you're well. New mission 
Don Tuchanka could end things. Made preparations. Asked friends in STG to leave this with you next time you were off duty. Some of my older work. Performances, stories, merely entertainment. But entertainment useful at times. Good luck. In prophase you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase they separate, then telophase arrives. And when cytokinesis comes, two cells lead separate lives. Hello, Perry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education of youth vital for future. Now, children. Science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. Native to Tuchanka. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Varen. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Suggest going limp. Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. See, children? Key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Next hypothesis? Attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock clearly effective. Harry the Pie Jack also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? Glycine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, alanine. They all are aliphatic, so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein we are formed. With two hydroxyl groups you'll find serine and threonine. For sulfur look to cysteine or to methionine. For bases you have arginine, lysine and histidine. From protein we are formed. Now the aromatics! Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids as we've seen. Or am I see asparagine and also glutamine from protein we are formed? Omega. Sky was color of Vitcam tuned to a dead Vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then trouble Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door. Likely Elcor father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. Asari very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened... Did enjoy reading. In bed. Woke up looking at Barrel of Pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 in another room. Another Black Widow standing over me. Only loose end left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be an afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule, in more ways than one. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace that brought me safe. Thus far, and grace will lead me home. <sighs> Maybe next time. Until then, we'll stick to patter songs. In prophase, you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase, they separate, then telophase arrives, and when cytokinesis comes, two cells lead separate lives. Hello, Perry the Pijak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education of youth vital for future. Now, children, science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric.
Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. I am going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085, 1086, 1087. Shepard? Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. Shepard? Hey. I think I broke my head on something last night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Shepard. Morning, Shepard. Had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Mmm. Good tea. Mmm. Shepard? Mm, morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Oh, not... not so loud. Hey. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Shepard? Eggs? Shepard. Shepard. Hmm. 
Hey. Shepard. So, last night, I didn't do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites, no hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or, alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Hey. Hey. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. I should go. Stupid dairy products. Hey. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Uh. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. Commander? Uh. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Shepard? Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Hey! Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast.
human with the hot robot. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? Yeah, there's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. So, I guess it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. That doesn't sound like my girl. You'll find a way to win. And when this is over, I'll be waiting for you. Best times of my life were spent on that ship been a damn good ride. <laughs> the best. Thank you.